it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. You know, we trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts, maybe more than we should, but this guy fits the bill. Maybe doesn't stand out in any one area on film, but plus skills everywhere. And you gotta think tonight, Joe, with his skill set, he's more than comfortable really anywhere this fight goes. If he needs to stand and strike, he can do it. If the fight hits the canvas, he can submit you. A lot of different skills brought to the table by this young man. This guy is extremely well-rounded. His submissions are world-class. His striking is excellent. And he is extremely unpredictable in what attack he chooses to go with. it good to see a striker of this caliber make the walk to the UFC octagon tonight? Really decorated on the feet, and no surprise, he's definitely interested, Joe, in keeping this fight standing. We'll see if he can put on a striking clinic tonight. Takedown defense will be a weapon of use if he can keep the fight upright. Scary for the opposition tonight. This guy is an excellent striker. What he wants to do here is avoid grappling exchanges, utilize his outstanding striking skills, and keep this fight from becoming a ground fight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Both fighters are 25 years old. With similar height, but big differences in reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of five wins, no losses. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, I. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of five wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 253 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, the Cobra. And when the action begins, a referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. Ready? Ready? And at long last, we are underway here at the Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. All right, so here he is, ready for round one. This man is all the rage, given what he did his last time out. It was a win by flush knockout. Now he'll try to keep the momentum going as the challenges get more difficult. You win in the UFC, nine times out of ten, the next opponent is decidedly better. That is certainly the case here tonight. Body, it is blocked. Nice leg kick. Splits the guard, connects with the punch there, Joe. Very good job of timing these shots here. Goes upstairs for an elbow. That one hurt. That shot blocked by I. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. He's doing a great job of blocking things here. And a nice jab. Uppercut to the head, instead it's blocked by I. Going to the body there with the right kick. That landed. See, it's not just his speed, it's speed with proper technique. And that's one of the things that makes him so dangerous. And an arsenal of information when it comes to movement. Under two minutes now to go. Ooh! And he 
connects with the punch there. There's a nice exchange. Oh, he moved right into that uppercut, Joe. That is not a good look and not something that he can afford to do here moving forward. Blocks the shot. Huge elbow, elbow to the head. Knee to the body. Watch the shot here, Joe. Nice combination of strikes there by I. Right in the bread basket once more. Good defense there. Beautiful jab. Beautiful jab. Sharp timing. Oh, tagged him. There's a nice inside leg kick. Oh, beautiful uppercut. Nice job to block the elbow attack there. Second round, straight ahead. Set those kicks up a little bit better. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Really excellent striking being displayed in that round. Thank you very much, Carly Baker. You ready? You ready? Check it out on the way. Lands an outside leg kick of his own. Nice punch there by I. Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been one and done. So the emphasis now moving forward, combinations. Throw your punches in bunches and really try to force the issue and get your opponent out of it. Oh, right hand is there for him, Joe. Well, he absorbs a kick to the head here, left it wide open. He's got to not move into that power shot. Let's see if he can adjust. Excellent job of timing these combinations. Finds his range with the jab. Straight punch. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by I. Gets the elbow up into the target. And he lands a nice kick. Ooh, big elbow. He's picking him apart. Strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Nice jab by I. Oh, landed that inside leg kick. Already a wealth on his opponent. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Wow! This could be it right here. Oh, he might be out. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Beautiful jabs. He's fainting with that punch, showing that punch. That one hurt. Tagged him. How about that shin? Oh, oh beautiful, beautiful there. Elbow. Hard straight punch. Tagged him. Another left. Oh, man, that cut is getting worse. Absolutely nasty. Beautifully timed and place kick there by I. Now mixing one into the body. 20 seconds to go round two. Oh, big Huge big elbow there. It's oh, oh huge right hand. hand. Knockout for the KO victory as the round was ending.
Wow, Joe Rogan. You know, we see fighters all the time go for a takedown late in the round, but you don't see that every day. The flush knockout just before the final horn. The referee wisely jumping in to stop the fight. Gorgeous technique and a great job to catch the other guy when maybe he was thinking about the end of the round. Now he doesn't see it. Instead, he's staring up at the bright lights. Let's see that again. Bang. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliotta has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 51 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout on. So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward. But you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches. Congratulations on a big KO tonight.